Hello guys, this is Prakash from Victory Visuals joining you here. So today we'll be showing you guys how to connect your BlueStacks emulator to your Android Studio. For that, go to your browser and download BlueStacks. It's very simple. It's simple as eating an ice cream. Believe me. Uh, now search for BlueStacks. B L U S T U S T C A S T C A S. Uh, the second link you see there. Let's click on that and click on download bluestack i have already downloaded and installed on my system here so let's see how to connect bluestacks to android studio now close everything uh, open your file explorer that's where the, it's called as this pc now go to your c drive where windows is installed you can see a folder called as users click on that and click on the folder which has your name I mean your account name just click on that and you can see an option called as view click on that and there a ribbon open so you can see a option called hidden items just check that and there's a folder called app data open that open the folder local and you can see another folder called as Android open that too Uh, after opening that uh, open SD game and go to platform tools folder and here you have to do now is uh, on your keyboard press shift along with pressing shift uh, right click so you'll get an option called as open powershell window here for some guys out there you out there you might get a open command prompt here uh, that's fine for guys uh, for whom there is powershell go to powershell and type cmd so another option op I mean another option opens there now type in abd i mean adb uh, connect local host uh, colon uh, 5554 times i mean 54 times 555 five, five. Five, five, five. oh my god it's 55 five times uh, 54 times after typing it hit enter and wait for a while oh Oh shit, I forgot to turn on the blue stacks. Uh, let's go to blue stacks for yeah, it's on my desktop here. For people who are using blue stacks first time, it may take up to a minute or two to get load. I mean get loaded into your system. Now you have to do is go to settings, uh, click on advanced. Now you have to do is uh, turn on the Android Debug Bridge, which is ADB. Just turn on that and click Save Changes. And go to Display, turn it to Portrait, and just save your change. I mean, just click on Save, and it'll ask you to restart the blue stacks. While well, that's getting ready, there, let's try to connect localhost one more time. Yeah, it's connected. It's successful now. Now let's uh, close this PowerShell. I mean, this PowerShell window. And go to settings. Uh, now reduce the uh, RAM allocation from 2 GB to 1 GB and CPU allocation from 2 core to 1 core and save changes. Yeah, again you have to restore. Now let close this window too. Now let that be aside. Let's keep it aside. Now open Android Studio. Guys, it's Android Studio, so it's gonna take time to get loaded. Let's wait till it gets slow. So my friend has already built a project here. It's his video. I'm just giving a voice over here. Now you can see and see their uh, device is loading. You can see the Samsung S G zero two has come. So we have uh, set our emulator to show us something galaxy s20 plus now that's what it should be it's been shown in android studio here all you have to do is the project is already built okay the project is already video you just have to run the project now 
so you can see it's uh, loading here I will show you the terminal video here terminal uh, terminal build uh, yeah terminal yeah the it's the emulator is already connected to Android Studio why we use BlueStacks instead of the default pixel emulator is um, yeah the project has started yeah I mean it's working the emulator is working the BlueStack is working why we use BlueStack instead of pixel is that BlueStack is very optimized and it, uh, it runs better than pixel on low resources system and that's why we use BlueStack instead of pixel and that's how you connect in your BlueStacks to your Android Studio I hope this video was informative if this was informative, please consider subscribing to our channel. This is Prakash signing out from Victory Visuals. Have a good day.